So, welcome to these tutorials on Dragonborns. Uh, we'll be looking at the basics of Dragonborns to create short 2D an character animations. Uh, what Dragonborns is, is just like a uh, free software where we can take in sort of 2D art and start animating it um, and setting it up. You'll, use, you'll have used it uh, similar in um, After Effects. You might have used the sort of uh, skeletal system in there to animate a character, whereas in Dragonborns it's a lot more easier. The goal is in these tutorials we're developing to create that 2D character animation using Dragonborns that we can then place into games animation sequences um, that you'll be using. I think we'll be using sort of a real engine taking you into that. Um, so Dragonborns again is free software. It's animation software available online. Uh, anyone can access it. Uh, the tutorials that we'll be going through now uh, will be a step by step guide looking at firstly how to import your character designs into Dragonborns ready to be rigged. Uh, so what you'll need there, your character sheets, how to get them in, and uh, look at how then we can start rigging it. Uh, then we'll move on to actually rigging your character in Dragonborns using that skeletal system you'll see here. Uh, on this sort of example that we've got on the website, we'll be putting these bones in so we can then keyframe and animate that. Uh, we'll then look at how to animate your character using the skeletal system. Uh, so again, keyframes using your curve editors, similar sort of uh, principles as what you've got in uh, Maya uh, that you'll be used to. Uh, and then finally, we'll then look at how you can export your character animation ready to import into a game engine of your choice. Again, Unreal Engine, Unity, it can all be transferred into there as character sheets. So these tutorials will help you to understand the basic studio animation within Dragonborns and also how to create your own character animations um, that you can then, again, take into other software. Uh, the skills learned inside Dragonborns can easily be transferred over to other industry training softwares as well uh, that, utilize, that utilize similar user interfaces. So you see straight away a lot of these interfaces similar to Maya. You know you've got all your uh, little bones here, and you sort of lay it up. You got your animation uh, timeline there. You will see when we get into it, there's a curve editor as well to make your animations run nice and smooth. Skeletal system again uh, runs on the IK uh, constraints that again is very utilised in Maya. So before we start getting into your character animation, uh, we'll first look at how to download and access Dragon Bones outside of the classroom. Because it is free software, uh, so it'd be daft not to get this at home as well. If you if you can, uh, you can then start working on projects inside and outside the classroom, start experimenting a bit more with it. Um, so to do that, what you need to do is head over to the Dragonborns website. So that's just dragonborns.com, or we can just search Dragonborns download. Make sure you have that download at end, because um, if not, you'll get it like Dragonborns for games and stuff. And it comes up with all sorts. Um, so you've got here. Yeah, Takes a minute or two to open, so I'll jump over to this one that I've already got done. You see a nice little home page. What we want to do is download editor, and then it should instantly start downloading. Yep, so it's going to choose the one that we need, uh, whether you're on Mac, uh, Windows, whatever. Start downloading it. I'm just going to cancel it because I already got it installed on my computer. Same sort of process as everything else when you come to install it. You'll have like a little guide that pops up. Click next, next, next. Choose where you want it all to save. Your file directions and whatnot, um, and then once that's installed, what you need to then do is set up a project folder uh, where you can place your character sheets and start saving your projects. What I'd recommend is having a USB or an hard drive uh, that you have your folder on because then you can just plug it in at home, work on it at home, plug it in at college, and you're not gonna have that issue where you're having to change file paths and directories. Uh, so, again, to do that nice and easy, go into your folder, create a folder called Dragonborns, and then we can start adding everything into here. Uh, probably best again, like I said, USB hard drive. You can bring it in and out of the classroom. Um, and then, what we'll start going into in the next session is some sample parts that are uploaded. Uh, they'll be on the Google Classroom. Um, but then we can then start importing into Dragonborns. Let me quickly just start loading it for you as well so you can get used to that user interface. Um, Dragonborns. There we go. So you see, nice and easy to load. This is the user interface that we've been met with. Um, we'll not go much into this. I'll cover that in the next session, um, next tutorial session, and then sort of get you to start importing sample sheets in that we can then animate. But remember, again, if you start making changes to folder names, uh, move folders, etc., so if you start you know, messing around with your folders that you made for your Dragonborns project, you will need to change these file paths within Dragonborns, similar to everything else. So when we start in Maya and stuff like that, when you're moving things about and you have to change your file directories, so try and make everything, get everything ready and organised before we then jump into that project. 
Uh, so yeah, that's it for this one. Uh, next tutorial, we'll then start looking at importing character designs and character sheets into Dragonborns, ready to be rigged.